Hi, it's Mr. Wiggins here. Yep, I can help you with your hyperlinks. First though, you need to make sure your slideshow is set up in kiosk mode. So you go to slideshow, set up slideshow, and there are three different options. You wanna make sure that you tick the bottom one, browse at kiosk mode. That way when you run the slideshow, it won't run through them when they, whenever you click. Okay, so then you wanna put your button in, which I'm sure you've already done. Um, as you can see, I've got my start screen here. I'm gonna click start on there. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to put a shape in and then I'm going to write start inside there. Uh, that's going to be my starting button. Okay, cool. So what I need to do to be able to do a hyperlink is to click on that button and do a right click, but not where the text is. So there's a line. I need to make the cursor into a cross. You see that? So right click, go down to hyperlink, and then I need to select this document, the place in this document, not a web page. Okay, so I click that. Now what I've done is I haven't added the next slide to be able to click to it. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. Uh, and let's go and create the next slide. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Home tab and I'm going to select a new slide. And this is going to be my intro. Okay, so I'm going to make up a crazy story. Um, let's think, how about a bogey monster? Yeah, let's have a bogey monster. Brilliant. Um, and what I'm going to do is just write the slide and put um, a couple of choices into this slide. Okay, uh, so it's basically turning this into an interactive um, story rather than a presentation. Okay, so I'm going to use the shapes um, to create buttons. Here I go, just grab a shape, stick it in there, and I can just drag it and start typing straight away to get the words in. La la la, we're gonna find the milk first or do we want to find a spoon first? So I'm gonna make another button with find spoon. Now remember, it's very important that whatever we say on the button, that has to be the title on the page it goes to. So whenever I add a new slide, I need to put the title where it says click to add title, that has to be what was on the button that got you there. All right, so we've got two, we've got find milk and we've got find spoon. So on this slide I've written find milk in the title. I need to make a new slide now with find spoon in the title. And I'll show you why you have to do that in a second. Okay, so there we go. I've got my two slides now. I can go back to my uh, buttons and I can right click, not on the text, on the cross. There we go, hyperlink. And now you can see I've got my titles in a list and I find the title that matches up with the button. Uh, there we go, and for find milk and find spoon. So I find the title, find spoon that matches up with my button because I want that button to go to that slide. Now let's just correct this first one here. Start, so I can go to hyperlink, edit hyperlink because I've already got one. And I can click on my here it all begins and there if I play my slideshow, and remember the buttons only work when you're playing the slideshow, they won't work in design mode. So now if I click uh, anywhere else on the slide, nothing will happen, click, 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 because I've put it in kiosk mode, but if I click my start, it goes to that one, and if I click find milk, it goes to find milk. Uh, press escape to go back to your design mode. If I then click on find spoon, it'll go to find spoon. Hope that helps. Have a good time making your interactive stories. Cheers, bye-bye.